Welcome to Morrigan's Cottage. Morrigan's Cottage is a 200 year old cottage set in Ireland's beautiful and wild west, sitting on just about four acres of land. The land is overgrown and the cottage has started to deteriorate after being left vacant for a number of years. But my name's Ashling, this is my dog Morrigan and my cat Bonnie. Together, we're going to bring this cottage and land back to its former glory. Follow us along through the surprises, the headaches and successes in bringing back the character to this lovely old home and in turning the land into a biodiverse cottage garden and home rescue to animals in the future. So before I can show you all this, we need to go back to the beginning of the day, which started out a little like this. Good, very early morning. I don't think you'll be able to see her, but Morrigan is here beside me. It is 10 to six in the morning. Very early start for us, we're in Dublin and it is Halloween. So happy Halloween, everyone. Uh, we are starting our journey down to the house because if you watched the last video uh, with the grand update we are meeting the engineer Brian at the house uh, and also working from the house so I start working nine so it's uh, 10 to 6 now by the time we leave it'll be 6 um, so we'll get there for about half 8 so I can set up and be ready for 9. Uh, Brian is coming at about 10 um, to get the grant inspection done. So delighted, ready to go. And welcome along to this. Um, I feel like it's gonna be like a vlog of uh, our first full day, full night working from home at the house, um, which will probably only be one of the very few times we do this until the renovation is over. So I hope you enjoy um, and yeah, hit the hit the like button if you did. Alrighty, so it is half past nine now. Uh, we got to the house at about quarter to nine because we stopped off for um, petrol and also we picked up some snackies. Um, the grant inspector should be getting here at about, I think between 10 and half 10 is what he said. So uh, I'm all set up now to work. I've got like my screen in front of me. So I'm gonna work away at my job. Miss Morgan is here with me. She's just eating a little snack and my coffee is just there waiting for me. So I am going to work away. Uh, there won't be much work on the house or anything done until after work, because obviously we're staying over. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting for the grant man to come. So very excited. He should be here in the next half an hour to an hour. So fingers crossed, everything goes okay. So it is, I don't even know what time it is. It's about half 10. He got here, took some photos of the outside, took some photos of the inside, um, and we are approved. <laughs> we have grant approval. Now, just to clarify, the money comes at the very end. So I have to pay for everything up front, but grant has been approved. We. We can now start work. We can now stay here overnight, which we are tonight, which I'm dreading. Look, the hat is on, it's bloody freezing. Um, I'm so happy, oh, I'm so relieved. Lovely guy, he said that the office is absolutely manic. He actually hasn't looked at my file yet. He was like, I just, I knew you needed your inspection part done, but he's like, the file doesn't go to him unless everything in the file looks good. So he's like, I might get back to you on like, if we've missed a signature or something, but 
were approved. Now he said it'll probably take about two to three weeks to get the official approval letter, but in his eyes, we're good. We're good to go, we're approved. <gasps> oh, I've got to go text my mom. Um, oh, I'm so relieved. I'm so, 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 so relieved. <laughs> I'm so happy. I feel like I'm gonna like, I think he's still outside. I think he's still at his vehicle. So I'm just not like screaming, but we have grant approval. So now I have to get back to work. Now I have to get back to my regular job. So it is just gone quarter past 11. So I've had about an hour of work to calm down and um, process uh, the fact that we are now grant approved and I'm on a quick break. So I thought I'd check in. Um, very excited. It's brilliant news. I am delighted. Are you happy too? Morgan's here beside me. She has a little blankie and her jumper on her. Because uh, we're quite gold. I have a little hot water bottle behind me and obviously my hat and my jumper on. But it is, I think because it's, we're not moving, it's just, it's quite cold. But, um, oh hi. Yes, so we have our grant approval, which is just amazing. So what I'm going to do today is while we're still here, because um, we're staying the night, it's Halloween. Uh, there's a couple of things I've got planned for today. Um, now, it all depends on my back. I don't know if I said already, but I have a sore back today. I could not sleep last night. My back was in bits. Um, and I don't know if it's my kidney and I have like a kidney stone or a kidney infection. It kind of feels like it could be that, but it also feels like I could have pinched something in my back. So I don't know what it is. Um, it could be one of one of those two things. Honey, can you sit down, please? Just for a minute. Good girl. Um, so obviously I don't want to push it and hurt my back more if it is a back problem. Um, now that grant is approved, we have 13 months from the day that we get the letter to get all the works done. Now my hope is, is that we'll finish kind of early in the year, so like end of winter, start of spring, submit that to the grant people and then it takes, it took six months to get the first inspection so I'm expecting longer to get the money back because uh, you have to go through solicitors and there's like forms you have to sign and there's you know lots of stuff that you have to do um, but then when that 50k or whatever the amount that I get back comes through I'll clear most of my loan um, I owe my brother a little bit of money um, and I will then um, do the decorating part of things with whatever money is left from all of that. Um, so that's kind of the plan, but I'll do a proper video explaining exactly what the plan is for spending the money because plans will change as things crop up, as they start tearing down walls and stuff like that, things will crop up that I'm sure money will have to be diverted from one spot to another. Uh, but I will go through everything and like I said, we've 13 months to do what we need to do for the application.
Bearing in mind that the kitchen is about to lose a wall in about a month, maybe two months, the kitchen will no longer have a back wall. But I just think for the few days that we're down this weekend um, and week, because we're here Thursday, Friday, and probably till Saturday, maybe till Sunday, but more than likely just till Saturday. Uh, I figured why not put a few little pictures up on the walls. And then I think we might very quickly go I won't say it out loud because I don't want Missy Moo to know what I'm saying. She's eating her very late lunch. <laughs> Look how cool I look with my little high-vis jacket on. Uh, it's getting quite dark so I figured we'd stick a little high-vis jacket on so we can be seen by any cars going by. I'll keep walking. You lead the way. Let's go. <laughs> hey, sweetie. So, look how cool I am, my hive is. Uh, we're heading back up to the house now. It's about half five, we've been out for the walk for about half an hour now. So it'll take us about 25 minutes to get back up to the house. Uh, it's getting dark. Not sure if you can really tell, it's hard to see in this lighting. Um, but yeah, it's getting dark. It's gonna be probably pitch dark by six, so it'll be pretty dark once we get back up to the house. When we do get back up, we are gonna get the bed made. Um, I probably won't film that, but exciting to have the bed made. And it's Halloween, which means a couple traditions we have to follow. Uh, normally, bangers and mash is what we eat on Halloween. Um, but I'm just not in the humour for mash, so we're gonna have bangers, sorry, bangers and mash if you don't know. It's sausages and mashed potato. And for some reason that's our tradition to have that on Halloween. And when we were kids, mom used to hide money in it, like 10 cents and stuff like that. Um, I don't ask me why, I don't know where the tradition is. But bangers and mash, that's it. So we're gonna have bangers and eggs and have it in sandwich, because that's just what I'm feeling. Um, Oh, honey, there's lots of good sniffs for Morgan. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have some dinner. We're gonna have a drink since we won't be driving. Uh, so we'll have a celebratory vodka and cranberry. And we'll put on, and I say we, for anyone who doesn't know, it's me and the dog. Me and Morgan, we make up the we. When Bonnie starts coming down again, it'll be the three of us that make up the we. But for now, it's just me and Morgan. We are going to cuddle up in bed because we're exhausted. We didn't sleep last night and uh, we're going to watch Hocus Pocus because that is Halloween tradition to watch Hocus Pocus. We might watch Hocus Pocus too as well, uh, but we will definitely be watching Hocus Pocus because that is Halloween tradition and we're probably going to be tucked up in bed by 10. Not doing any kind of work on the house today. I feel like it's Halloween. We're celebrating the victory and also I've worked tomorrow so I think the plan is tomorrow we'll get up early and oh, she's pulling me in the other direction uh, we're gonna get up early and obviously I have work starting at nine so we'll see what time we wake up at but if it's bright enough we might come out and do a little strimming I bet you can't wait to see some strimming um, but if it's not bright enough, plan of action for tomorrow, which is Friday, November 1st. Um, I'll just start work at nine and then maybe we'll do some strimming at lunch instead. And um, work. And then we're also staying over Friday night is the plan. And then Saturday, I think we might go home Saturday afternoon. Um, so we'll see. 
Well, I'm pretty sure we'll go home Saturday afternoon because I'm flying out really. It's like 2 a.m. Monday morning, so f Sunday night. Um, and I have to still pack my bag, clean all the clothes I want to bring. Careful, honey, that's a little stream. So yeah, so we're just walking back up to the house, like I said. It's getting dark. Um, I want to get back up to the house before it gets too dark because it's Halloween and you don't know what little fairies and demons etc are out and about. We're very rural so I don't expect anyone to call to the house trick-or-treating um, and I have no decorations up so I'd be surprised if anyone calls to the house but I do have a few little bits I can give them some treaties if needed uh, but I'd be surprised and I'm hoping this quiet is what our evening sounds like. No fireworks. Morrigan can have a nice peaceful night's sleep. Hopefully no mice. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So that's that's the plan. That's the ska. So totally forgot to show you the dinner, but it was pasta and some baked chicken. It was delicious. Just making a cup of tea now. It's eight o'clock. We've got Hocus Pocus 2 on. And that's me and Morgan signing off for our very first official day of being allowed to move in and stay at our house. Um, not the normal video because obviously we didn't get a whole bunch of things done. Um, but I hope you enjoyed anyway. And I am so freaking excited for the next 13 months. The clock is ticking uh, to get this house renovated and... <sighs> follow along enjoy the journey <laughs> oh i'm stressed already but no i'm just messing i'm so happy so um happy halloween everyone i hope you had some sweets and some crisps and chocolate and nice things to celebrate it's all about the candy um but we will see you in the next video or later on in this video for tomorrow i'm not really sure